Hey, good day everybody. Mike Mata here. I was asked to put together a short video on how to see the TCP urgent bit and how to use it and how, how you actually display it inside of Wireshark and Observer. So here we go. What I did is I started an FTP connection and you see we're moving data. There's a control circuit, FTP control circuit on port 21 and I'm looking at this first in Wireshark and to actually see the urgent bit I'm just going to type in tcp.flags urgent equals equals one tcp.flags.urge equals equals one and that pops up two frames for us so if we take a look at this first one we see it says request slash 362 blah 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 Gerald thanks for the free Wireshark uh, but if we highlight that and we look at this slash 362 you'll notice that it's a hex f2 and what this hex f2 is is this is actually the FTP control circuit sending telnet data and it's telling the application data mark and that this is the end of the urgent data stream now if some of you are going oh that's a cool spreadsheet where'd you get that if you go to my website it's mnex.biz right there mnex.biz click on frame header fill in the info we'll actually send you this spreadsheet and you'll have all this wonderful information at your fingertips how to use Wireshark, T-Shark, you know, just a bunch of great information in this spreadsheet. But one of that tabs is this information about Telnet. So what's happening in this particular trace is during this FTP process, I broke, you know, hit control C, basically broke the, the connection. And so in the next packet, you'll actually see the urgent bit set again the flags push act urge and if we come down here and we look at the three bytes that were sent it's ff f4 f2 and again if we look at the spreadsheet ff is interpret as command f4 interrupt the current process and f2 end of urgent data stream so this is the application using TCP the client application using TCP notifying the application on the server side that it wants to break that current data stream seeing that in observer very similar process so in observer the paid for protocol analyzer we see the connection gets set up for port 21 the actual FTP control port and again if I filter just looking for the urgent you'll see here's the two same two packets we see uh, on the control the urgent bit is set again if I look at that bit right there the urgent pointer field is significant and if I look at the urgent pointer field it says there's one byte in that field and that byte is again the F2 and you can see here the FTP data that's being transported F2 we talked about that from the telnet side we're actually sending a telnet command end of urgent data stream to the host application on the server and again if I go back and look at the next packet with the urgent bit set it says there's three bytes that are significant and in this case it's FF F4 F2 and once again if I go to the telnet FF is interpreted as command F4 interrupt the current process and F2 end of urgent data so again what's happening is in the trace from both whether you use observer the paid for tool or Wireshark the free tool it's sending when you hit the break key control C it's basically sending an urgent message to the application to interrupt the process so again I hope you learned something out of that Thanks for listening. Make it a great day.